Science today is concerned with extremes, the very large, the very small, the very fast, the very dangerous. But outside the extremes in our Caribbean reality, the everyday still remains to be explored by those on the ground. And this is where Professor Suraj Pal Tiluxing, the Anthony N. Sabla Caribbean Awards for Excellence Laureate in Science and Technology for 2011, has made his mark. Professor Tiluxing is a highly respected clinician, researcher, and teacher. His notable achievements are in the sphere of the ordinary, childhood obesity, dengue, the incidence of diabetes in children, making sure our doctors are properly trained. A lot of my publications and a lot of my research has had to do with diagnoses that could easily be missed. I was struck by the fact that young children were presenting with this form of diabetes that would normally be associated with adulthood. And in all cases, it was associated with obesity. Though these issues may seem to be mundane, their recognition puts Tiluxing and his work on the cutting edge of public medicine, where emphasis is not merely on curing disease, but preventing disease. The Caribbean now faces primarily health problems related to lifestyle and dietary habits. And we are entering a phase, or have entered a phase, where these lifestyle diseases like diabetes and hypertension are the greatest source of morbidity in most Caribbean countries. The whole issue of the well-being of the individual uh, has now become the, the central focus for economic development. Tiluxing is a director and lead researcher for Unique Local Foundation, the Diabetes Education Research and Prevention Institute, which educates high school children about the disease. It is funded by Trinidadian Helen Bagwan Singh and other funders. But Tilak Singh has also been able to attract a significant amount of international research funds. The work that he leads in that uh, institute is pioneering in many, many ways. I am very confident that nobody else has done it in the Caribbean. He has managed to put together a team to seek and to be awarded a grant by the Inter-American Development Bank for a, a region-wide surveillance initiative and this has been a major um, accomplishment of his. But more than bringing attention to and initiating research into health problems on the ground, Tiluxing's contributions go further. He sees himself as a teacher first and his ambitions lie in training better doctors. Doctors are often accused of, of not spending enough time to look and I, I do feel that's one of the areas that has to be emphasized repeatedly. When one, for example, enters the university as a student, he was expected to do a medical. And in that medical, he should have, it was required for him to do a chest x-ray. And I got students thinking, why are we doing chest x-rays routinely? Was this not meant for another era? So we evaluated 10 years of x-rays at UWE and found that they were, the x-rays weren't revealing anything. Having done the research by students, students don't wrote to the university that changed the practice of, of so doing. And I found that that was action research, which in itself wouldn't win a Nobel Prize, but which would have stimulated a student to be critical of processes. His students are extremely ex excited about him. His techniques of research and his, his own accomplishments have served to be examples for the younger researchers. Tiluxing has been able to affect the way doctors are trained, examined and evaluated because of his position as university examiner. He's advanced the process of education by re revolutionizing the method of examination as well as the content of examination. His own experience of putting the patients first and looking at their lives to determine the best treatments, a sociological rather than a purely scientific approach is another key intervention in the conduct of medicine in a place where the human side of making people well is often secondary to technology and unfeeling science. His patients speak very highly of him. He is excellent with patient interaction. He is very caring, very humble, willing to listen. I think that is one of his best qualities. Our tradition in the medical profession has been to cure the cure sometimes, we recognize that. And we encourage the comfort always. But I do feel the paradigm is changing. 
that we now need to predict. That's where I believe the next frontier should be in my own work and, and, and that's where I see myself going and that's where I, I would like to push our work. He takes a longer term view of things. He's not looking at today for today, he's looking down the road and in that sense he's an exemplary person in terms of citizenship in Trinidad and Tobago. It is for these reasons, for his advancement of medical scientific knowledge, his dedication as a teacher and a clinician, that Professor Surjpal Tiluxing has been named the Anthony N. Sabga Caribbean Awards for Excellence 2011 Laureate in Science and Technology. <laughs>